What's up, boys and girls? Welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like the video, and comment down below. All right, BFF's new episode, uh, and, and people have been waiting. I'm getting hit up all over the place because we were out to dinner and said yeah. we're doing the emergency episode. People want it. Yeah, so everyone's like waiting, waiting, waiting. And, and first of all, thank you, because our views are like through the roof. <laughs> It's like a million views expense. now on, on YouTube, guaranteed, podcast huge. This will be our biggest one ever, I'm guessing, because everyone's kind of waiting to hear your yeah. mm -hmm. side of things, your take, the whole Jaden, obviously, Nessa, you. Griffin comes in, we invited him, and he's like, oh, fuck shit up, oh, fuck shit up. You brought in the big guns. I mean, so he's I, mean I have to, you know, toe a line for, for No, Josh 100%, and, you know, and we're the but... same. So, you know, it's been a wild couple weeks, and... and here we are, and here's where we know the situation. So, Nessa and Jaden are dating, that's obvious. We all know that now. Mm -hmm. uh, Mads went on Call Her Daddy yesterday, and let's set the stage here. There's so many, I, I, I wanna keep it clear, but we're in an interesting spot, because you guys are obviously good friends, yeah. we're friends, yeah. and you're at the center of it, so there's real like human emotion going on, even though I have some people been like, this is a total work. Like they're doing this, they think you're on I wish it was a word. I know, because it comes <laughs> out right when their wish. song does. So, and to give people an idea like where we're at, we were gonna have Mads on BFFs. But I was like, fuck no. Right, it's like, I wanted to keep shit out. like offline. That was like my whole thing. Like I was like, I didn't want it to be like a big thing all over the internet. Like, it's weird because I think people think like, you think I want to go on my phone and like scroll through and see this shit all day? Like, no. Right. Like, you know what I mean? So it was like, I think that's why even like, like the BFFs post, people don't know we don't really post for BFFs. Like we don't do that. That's why you commented like the BFF, scum. and you're talking the BFFs Instagram, yeah, which we Instagram. said mm -hmm. like we have there's Barcelona people who are savages. We're we're internet savages, but like you and I have nothing to do the three of us with what's posted there. Mm -hmm. So there were some just, like fucked posts, and you were like, so then we "This is a like scumbag move right. or some shit like that," because they were like, it kind of just like. It's like they're just like putting out their more views. shit for me to see, and it's yeah. just like what the fuck. And, and, yeah. and their motivation is just like what's going to get clicks, what's going to get views, and they don't. And I, we are whenever it's somebody in your close circle, it gets a little weird. Now it's doubly weird because we're a podcast, like we're just going to sling it and get everybody else's drama on, and then bang, the guy that we're doing with is the <laughs> center of the world. I want to say, you. Vin Dog let me down a little bit. The memes were. Oh, I thought his memes were on point. That's how he. That's how he. You, you got to just that's understand the style his of them. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. How he the does last that. time he went into and you called him out to like go crazy on Twitter, it was insane. I mean, I, his memes are are like PG. That's what makes them work. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> and there is a part of me too. I didn't even say it's like, Dave, what deal with the devil did you sign? That's like we launched this TikTok podcast, not knowing much about anything. Yeah. And then by far the number one concert for. Ursi that's happened since we've been doing it. It's like, it's you, it's the girl, it's Nessa we've had on like two times, like she's the only TikTok girl I even know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and, and here we are. So having said that, we gotta get into this stuff. I think my first question and where we're going back and forth is, I think there is back and forth on Jaden seemingly being like, I don't know why, because I was started going after him a little bit. Like, I don't know what Dave or people are getting mad at. Josh has known. Like, that seems to be like we talked yeah. it out. On like, his live stream. Correct. So, what, what, like, where are we at with that? So, like, to, like I, I, I knew that they kind of, like, liked each other. Not when I was on the podcast. Like, I wasn't lying when I was on the pod. I, I just did kind of believe that Mads was, like, lying. And, stuff. and by the way, shout out Mads, like, she she got roasted. Everyone's yeah. like she's crazy. Yeah, she she, oh, she, she took some heat. She's yeah. yeah, but at the same accurate. time though, like it didn't have to be put to social media like right away. Like right. that's the one thing. Like it was like, uh, let me just bring the social media and shit on everyone's lives. It's like holy fuck, bro. Like let's just like try to figure it out. Like we didn't even have it figured out between us four or like the friend group or whatever. So it's like how are we gonna start throwing shit on social media when we don't even know what's going on? You know what I mean? It's just like that's but so, where, but that's where like shitty that assumptions video? come out. That's where like like people are like. They're, they've been fucking for weeks. They've been fucking for months before Josh and Ness. Like, no, that didn't happen. Like, it was like we broke up, then they became a thing. And it's like, it, it's like, whatever. I'm, I'm moving on from it. They're moving in their way. And like, for me, I'm just like, I wish the best. That's that. Okay. 
So you're standing by, then, you, you, and your belief is that you guys broke up, and then they started dating all on the up and up, is what you just said. Yep. So then, like, are you mad at Jay? First of all, I'm not sure I believe that, but do you, do you are you fine with them then? Do you think there was any, like, wrongdoing in it? Or I mean, just... I think that, like, I don't, I don't think anything that they tried to do is like malicious against me. I think that it's, it's just like, it, we're all, like the thing is we're all like 19 year olds too. Like we're all young as fuck just trying to figure shit out. Like this is a part of life, this is what happens. So I think as we're just all figuring out making these like mistakes or like I made a bunch of mistakes like through my relationship with Ness too. Like I wasn't the, the greatest stand up guy in the world. Like I'm, I would admit that. Mm -hmm. And I think it's like, I, I just hate seeing it turn into like a, team this or team that it's like no bro two people just like or three people four just got their like hearts broken or like some shit in their lives that it's like it's really affecting them so it's like i don't want now it to become a game of like let's shit on each other and let's go out and have these teams and wars and hashtags it's like that's not what i want that makes sense yeah i mean it's a super mature way to look at it my main thing with like <laughs> Jaden yeah. wow. and I, I'm not gonna ever say anything about Nessie. She's too young. I don't like as a teenage girl and all that. So whatever. She does her own thing. But like the the thing that kind of put me over the edge was Jade and I saw an over the edge. I should say that like respectfully. I still get my age difference. A little weird comment. And you're in on it. But it's like they did that interview and he's like, we're just trying to handle this privately and respectfully when they're out to dinner on like, I don't know, the Sunset Strip or somewhere, <laughs> where there's right paparazzi <laughs> yeah. there and it's like they're making out, they're hanging out. So there's nothing private in my mind or respectful about like, all right, I get, it. you know, you, you, you don't intend to like who you like, mm -hmm. things happen, they're spending a lot of time, it's like they're making a song, it's dancing with the stars except real life yeah. and you fall for each other and it gets weird because you're in the middle of it. But there's got to be a way to like, even if you knew not to be so blatant and then be like, we're handling it privately. Well, they're not. Well, I think the problem is, is like, they also didn't really get the opportunity to handle it privately because Mads went out right away and said stuff. And I'm not like, again, I don't want to be like seen as like against Mads or against them or against anyone. It's just like everyone was put in a weird ass situation because this was instantly brought to social media first when like people didn't know, like I, I didn't know, full, people didn't know full but, stories. But so weren't it was like, Mads and Jaden still dating when he like was with NASA? No. No? No. I thought that's what she said on Call Her Daddy. I she might be like slow here, phone. but they're like actually officially dating. Yes. Yeah. That's what like people are Confirmed. saying. I mean, they made out. The star. We have videos of them making out, of them holding hands, of like someone outside the paparazzi is like, are you guys, uh, you know, I just, is this a couple? I just Where have you been? No, I just don't understand <laughs> though how people can actually officially date within like a two weeks like span. Yeah. Well, that's the it's thing. It's like, what? Like, it just doesn't. The, it, well, I, I, didn't, I didn't think that people said it was officially. I thought that was just like Keemstar saying they were like, they liked each other. Well, they made, there's video of them making out. And I, it's like, no, I thought the, it was like uh, he like kissed her on the head or some shit. Like that. There's another one. Oh, that's yeah. true. Oh my god. And they got matching yeah. tattoos. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and they got matching tattoos. Did you know always that? Always a great idea. So, all right, well, this is where it's like. Always, 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 always a great idea. Too. That's his move. He <laughs> oh loves to get god. the matching tattoos. So, so, all right, we have to ask, but this is where it gets like awkward because I like you, but if it's like if someone else sitting there, like what, what Griffin just said. There's not a party that is like, they're just both full of shit. Like this, how did we go from, they weren't dating at all when we were together to we broke up and they're getting matching tattoos and openly being like, it all seems, I mean, what, if it was someone in my shoes, I wouldn't believe it. I'd be like, you guys are full of fucking shit. Mm -hmm. And this is like my friend. So what else are you gonna say or do to make it seem not as, I guess, like bad? Yeah, I mean like. And I don't mean it to be like, I just feel like people listening from the outside, like what you just said, be like, come on, like, wake I mean, up a little bit. If you bit. were actually friends, regardless of who you like, I don't think he would date your ex-girlfriend that well, you claim to love so much, like loved so much, you know? I think uh, if he actually cared about shitty, you, bro. he would. I do. <laughs> these, uh, these TikTok people are on a different wave, I'm telling you. So what do you they're think? You, you, you're, they're the closest out of this situation, besides obviously Josh, and I know you have strong feelings. What do you think? I mean, 
if I'm being completely transparent, it just seems like some weird shit going on. Like, I it doesn't make sense in my head because I could never see a girl and then date her and get a matching tattoo within two weeks. Like, I would... Like, I wouldn't do it regardless if it was two years, but, like, I don't know. It's just a whole weird, it's just a weird thing. I mean, it's also just, like, they're obviously going through (laughs) shit, too, right? Because, like, I mean, so it's, like, they're probably coping a little bit by being together and, like, hanging out. They feel like they're the only two people that, yeah. But if you're as close to this guy, like, where it's increasing is, like, they're posting, like, these pictures together. And I get the song, but there's ways to do it without being so... In a front, in my well, mind, like, to you. I think, I think from their, for their point of view, it's like, Mads already went out publicly, he said a bunch of shit. So then it's like, now people are just going to build assumptions on it. So they, they either have the choice of like setting the narrative themselves or having other people set it for them. Mm-hmm. So it's like, they're just going to come out and be like, here it is. That is true. You know what I mean? Like, not, they're the kind of left shit. in a weird spot. But that's the same shit. I would have, yeah. like, I, if I'm, I'm left to let other people make a narrative or make it myself, I'm just going to make it myself. Sure. Sure, but I mean, from what we think or seem, like Mad seems, and I listened to the Call Her Daddy clip, 100% truthful, like I believe what she's saying. They're just confirming to my mind her narrative and you're being like super nice, basically, and like, well, Jaden was like one of my best friends. I love Nessa in the best way, which is maybe not, that's probably way healthier than like the way I'd handle it, which is like, <laughs> Same. fuck Same. these yeah. people, <laughs> like, all right. I was like ready to kill someone Yeah, you, and yeah. like, yeah, I was mad for you, and you're taking it in a super healthy, like, I'll, I'll take them for their word, and, and it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, it's like, you can't really just like, I, at least for me personally, I can't just like flip a switch off from like caring about someone so much to not. So it's like, even though this is like a, a situation, obviously, I don't think anyone wants to be in. I'm never gonna be like wishing bad things happen to either of them. I'm I'm always just gonna be like along for the rest, supporting like having them kill it, do whatever. Kimmel, Ellen, like fuck yeah. I'm never gonna be like the guy that's like being malicious and like we should fuck them. We should do this. We should do that. And in mm-hmm. fact, like. I've been telling people like, bro, I appreciate everyone like fighting for me and like saying stuff. But like, like I said in my tweet, it was like, I want to have this shit offline. Like, I, I, I can do this myself. Like, I can say shit. <laughs> and so, like, when you, when you comment and you comment, it's like, mm-hmm. it makes me feel great because then it's like, fuck yeah, I got people that have my back. But at the same time, it's like, now that shit's been said, I'm ready for it to like, end. Yeah, and go away. Let them fucking live their life. Don't be like fucking commenting shitty things to either of them. That's dumb. I just think like everyone's gotta push forward. That's how I feel. So when he, when he, because we did have a conversation in the past when you're like, I talked to Jade and he's like, there's nothing going on. Were you just doing that for cameras or you knew like at that point something was going on? By the way, the for the Miami shades, that's why I'm wearing these shades. <laughs> <laughs> gotta throw that in really quick. Because I touched um, them like, they're gonna be like, what asshole. Uh, like, was that like on the podcast? Yeah, I said that. Yeah, yeah. you're like I. I asked if you had talked to Jay, and you're like, yeah, and he assured there was. It was after the mad shit, so it's like, yeah, I talked. I think to it them. was the emergency one. Yeah, that we did. Yeah, um, I'm sure. I'm sure I had talked to them. It might have been like a little bit of me not knowing the situation, so I'm just gonna take their side type thing. Uh, but it also was probably I, 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 like I really don't remember. It's been fucking crazy the last like three weeks. I, my mind's all over the place. You still have him blocked on everything? Never blocked him. I don't know oh, he why. He made that up? Yeah. My phone was dead. Who, with like, Jaden? Remember at the table, I was like, I was like, my phone's been dead for like five hours and all the shit yeah, is going down. And <laughs> all the crazy stuff was happening. And it was like, I, I couldn't even get on my phone. So I think what was happening, like, I guess text messages go green yeah, right, when that happened. Probably. So they were like, I think they both thought I blocked them. But I, I, I'm also a firm believer that, it, it, again, they're in a very strange situation, those two, because they're singing a song together and doing all this work in studio. But... And I've said this about the TikTok people in general, you guys included and the Sway House and all of this. It's like, well, they're my best friend and I know them, but it's like, it's not somebody I grew up with in, you know, you played sports in elementary school and you've known your whole life. And yeah. these are people you guys got thrown together relatively quickly. Mm-hmm. So maybe when you say guy code, there's not the loyalty there's not, of somebody yeah. that you're like, well, I spent my whole fucking life. I know his family. I know everything about this dude mm-hmm. where... Yeah, but no, yeah, I mean, not only that, but like, if you do it to your homies back home, they know your parents, and like, you know, it's like a weird like circle. Like, it would just be complete humiliation. Yeah. Here, it's like a free for all. Half the parents don't even know what's going on. Like, there's not a lot of accountability, besides like what, it, besides your own like 
And, and my point with Jay, not to keep going in on him, because things happen, you're put in a spot, but you also have to let yourself, like, be open for that in a way, like, mentally. Like, if that's my best friend and there's something going on, it's like, all right, I got to, like, chill. That's, like, my best friend's girl or however it is. So I guess it's the next question. You're not going to root against them. Very different, you and I. Good for you. I'd root fucking I was going to say, man, you are. <laughs> You're making me want to be a better person, really. <laughs> and, and, and I do believe you. The cameras are on. I feel like off camera, you're a little more honestly like, oh, this fucking sucks. Yeah. But, like, will you ever be friends with him again? Like, would you say he's your friend? Uh, um, I don't know. That's like a, that's like a hard question to answer. I, I, I like... It's kind of like going back to what I said. Like it's 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 hard to say like fuck you to the or like I like because that's just not true. That wouldn't be true either. But it's also like if I'm like yeah, I still I'm fucking I'm so happy with them. I wouldn't right. you know what I mean? It's like it's kind of as confusing. And I'm sure they're in like the same boat against me or they're in the same boat. See, that's me. where I that's the thing that why I've gotten more aggressive because if they felt how you felt towards them, they wouldn't be flaunting it, and they're fucking flaunting it. That's what like gets me the most is like there's not. You know what? Like, hey, Josh is my best friend. Nessa, I still love Josh the way you talked about it. Let's fucking show a degree of, like, dignity and do shit when there's no cameras around and not go to dinner and all this shit. That would be, for me, it's like, oh, you're going to be this public? Well, now it's coming. Like, that would, that's the thing, because I think there is a point there. Everyone's young, you fall in love or like who you like, and there's not yeah. anything you can do to stop that. But there is a decorum in my mind of respect to you, which they haven't shown, unless there's things that I don't know, which that's what Jaden sort of hinted, like, I don't know, he said something in his... He said that me and Josh had spoken, we, so we I don't did know why talk, he Like, we did talk, and, uh, yeah, I didn't block him. That but was, everything, was we, just, everything yeah. we, we hit you with here, that we, that, and it sucks, it's like, oh, they made out, or oh, this video, I can tell you're caught off guard, you're like, Whoa, what? Like, so that's the part. It's like it, my vibe, as honest as it can be, is like you're clearly not as in the loop. Well, as I think that's kind of like a it. little bit on purpose, mm -hmm. right? It's like I, I just don't care. Like, I'm like done with it. So it's like I'm not trying to be on my phone, like yeah. looking at fucking hashtag Josh Richards and searching all this shit that's like talk about me. I'm like, put my phone away. I don't really go on it. I think I've like texted my parents, called them. Then I answered like Michael and Griff. Uh, SteveMad.com, sponsor of the show. Always huge thanks. I got the sneakers here, actually, the bolos. They're under 200 bucks. I wear them now. I used to have similar sneakers that cost more, so it's a no-brainer. Use code BARSTOOL, 20% off Steve Mad's collection. SteveMad.com, one use per customer, uh, February 21st to April 30th, so time's running out. Uh, also, Gruen, he keeps mentioning uh, the Wolf of Wall Street guy. He's, oh, like, okay. heavily mm -hmm. involved with Steve Madden. That's, yeah. like, the basis of the company that they took in Wolf of Wall Street. So you can get his memoir, The Cobbler, How He Disrupted an Industry, Fell from Grace, Came Back Stronger Than Ever, in a candid account on his rise. Again, use the code BARSTOOL, 20% off Steve Madden's collection, stevemadden.com. So what about Michael <laughs> going absolutely, and we have to put in Rhea. Did you find the video, group, Mike? I we, watched it. Rhea, who works for us. Can we pull this up? Can we get it? A whole clip of Michael's it, comments. It, it's she's Rhea doing a dramatic reading, reading of Ruins <laughs> comments. Can I walk around and watch it? Yeah, of course. It's very funny. I think it's on Twitter. I mean, on TikTok, on excuse TikTok, me. Yeah. Here is a dramatic reading of Michael Gruen's tweets during the Jaden, Nessa, Mads, and Josh drama. I take a bullet for Josh and Griffin. That's all that matters. I never called Nessa ugly. I never said that out of respect for Josh, but she is ugly. Ugly on the inside. They both are. I'd unfollow Nessa, but can't unfollow someone you don't follow. YOLOs! At I'm Griffin Johnson. Your turn. Who will rise up for me against the wicked? Who will stand for me against those who practice iniquity? I'm glad Josh has a real answer to this question, finally. I'm Griffin Johnson at Stool Presidente, and me. Don't fear the foe who attacks you, but fear the friend who hugs you fakely. Break up. Yeah, hey, this is yeah. Hey, you need a tissue? Vicious. Yeah, dude. Like, vicious, <laughs> hey, sorry. Another one. Another one. No, that was, oh, dude. uh. Oh, there's two, I didn't see yeah, the two. two. Here is part two of dramatically reading Michael Gruen's tweets during all this drama. So, 
<laughs> What's new? <sighs> when someone tells you they need to break up with you to focus on their mental health and then the next day they're in your best friend's bed, they're losers. <sighs> Jaden used to try and get Josh to become closer with God, which is ironic since Jaden Hart is clearly a desolate wasteland with not one iota of heart or God. Don't forget to stream my newest track where I yell a lot. It's called Love Leads to Change. But I don't know how to love. Why doesn't this have more likes? <laughs> What's that Every one? Every time Jaden writes a poem, the end of it, he writes like, love these things. Yeah, see, that's where I get lost. Like, I, people have been like, he's gonna write a poem. I didn't know he wrote poems. Like, I'm not yeah, as in the loop. I, again, it, a lot of this, for people watching, like, when we're at the Sway House, like, I, Dan, Spider, our guy, he's like, I'm gonna fucking box Jaden and rough around because you guys were like so friendly and then there's this shit going on. So from our perspective, it's like, what the fuck is this guy's <laughs> dude, like, being like buddies with us? Well, he's doing this shady shit. Um, so it's a weird thing, but those are great. Now, how do you feel like about in my, you and Michael super close? I think yeah, he's yeah. like protective of you. He's going I, bananas. Yeah, he's yeah. quoting the Bible. He's like <laughs> calling <laughs> down fucking no, hell. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, like, like I said at the start, I love everyone for sticking up for me, but it was like, I definitely had to tell Michael, like, bro, chill the fuck out, dude. Like, I don't want this shit. I like, I told Keo, I was like, bro, I, I like, thank you, but like, stop fucking like shitting on people. Like, you're going too hard. And it's like the same with kind of like everyone, like I'm just like trying to make sure that it's not, because there's like a degree of like sending out a tweet and being like, I got Josh's back. And then everyone's like, all right, know where you stand. And then there's like, all right, I'm gonna make 500 essays. And mm -hmm. it's like, now we're just dragging the situation along. It's yeah. just like, it's just doing too, like it's just doing negativity all around. Cause then I, I like, I'm just like unhappy too. Forced to keep So it's like, it. yeah. Yeah. You're like very good at handling it, and I think it's real. Like again, I do think for people wondering, like off camera, you, uh, it's pretty much the same vibe. He's like, I'm just trying not to pay attention to it. I think when you're around like Griffin, myself, and Mike, maybe we can work you into a little bit of a friend. Like you, maybe. you had some tweets too that you're like, I'm gonna fucking. <laughs> hey, yeah, I, he came well, in swinging too. I had to like control myself, right? Because I knew Josh was gonna take the approach. Like, I want to be very kind about this. I, I got heated for a second. Like, he didn't know his phone was dead, and I was kind of like, Michael was texting me, like, you know, and yeah, I was, everyone I was, was sitting just over fucking here, like, conspiring on the internet. Dude, while Josh I was just, like, had no phone, phone dead. dead. <laughs> Don't know what's happening. I'm just like, ah, oh, what a great day. About to go to a dinner with Dave. Shit's gonna be great. Get there. It's like, ah, wow, this is awesome. Yeah, we were texting fucking on trending on Twitter. I had to bring it in, dude. Like, and I'm not gonna lie, this doesn't really surprise me because this isn't the first time. Like, I had a girlfriend when I first joined Sway. He hit her up and it was weird. Fourth of July when the conspiracy came out, July 6th when Chase put out that tweet. Mm -hmm. my, he had something supposedly with my girlfriend. Like I was talking to another girl like maybe two or three months ago. He was hitting her up, Snapchatting her. So it was like. Does he hate you? Seems like, like, I, like, like, I don't care. Like, like Jaden and him, girls. whenever we met, he's like, Jaden's one of my good friends. Would he say here's that a, about you? Well, here's the thing. I was, me and Jaden were in this together from the start. Like, we were best friends. Like, through everyone, through tour, when we first met, like, Jaden and I were OGs. And, like, the, the kid that I met, he was, like, wearing Sperry's, like, like, the godliest, holiest, like, I'm not gonna smoke weed, I'm not, like, anything so he's done like he was like doing like hella church camps and stuff. yeah like church camp yeah. like, i'm telling you like no, this kid was like, like straight laced like completely different and like he's just done a complete like that's i don't even know i mean i feel like that kind of like makes sense though if you're raised in like a family that's hella like religious and like yeah and, bop, then bop, then you're gonna be, and then you get freedom you're just gonna be like fuck fuck the world bro so it's weird for me this whole sh like this whole thing it, is weird it, for me. so you, you basically yeah you're i see him differently because i still think of old Jaden a lot and you don't so it, it, point blank you don't believe basically like his version of events you think shit was going well, on beforehand yeah, because well, whenever it happened to me, I was the same way as Josh. I'm like, yo, I don't want any negativity, like, you know, in my home. I kind of forgave it. Now that I look back at it, I'm a sucker. Like, I'm an idiot. And That's you've like, kind of, but this is the Sway House vibe, because to go back, to I mean, him. this, if you recall, the first time I walked into your house, like, you were standing behind the couch, Noah's standing behind the couch. <laughs> I don't know anybody. But it was introduced somehow. It's like, oh, that's the guy that stole Griffin's girlfriend. Yeah, he's girl like this. Mm -hmm. He used to date Dixie. Oh, that's Noah. He dates Dixie. And I looked at you guys. I'm like, what? Like, what are you fucking talking about? I mean, bro, it's, it's like it's like the fucking it's like the cast of Friends, dude. That's our I, life. Yeah, you know, the, you know the show Friends. It, it, it is, you know how Friends, they're just like fucking literally going left and right. Like my dad literally would make fun of that show all the time. He was like, 
I'm pretty much just watching like soft porn. Like <laughs> it's just a bunch of friends having an orgy <laughs> together. It, it's it, like weird as fuck. That's, that's kind of like, yeah. And it, it's the ultimate, what everyone I think has to remember, it's it, you guys are friends, but in there's different degrees and relationships, which are clearly shaking it's new out. new friends. Yeah. It's new friends. Mm -hmm. And it's a bunch of fucking good looking guys and good looking girls. It's more, you know what it is? It's more like being in like a real world house. Yes. Like old yes. MTV. Yeah. Where, yeah, yeah your friends, everyone's getting there's thrown no together. Loyalty. But the loyalties are not fucking You have strong. like that one friend you care about, but Dude. everyone else you're like, I don't yeah. get it personally, because if my homie dates a girl, not only is it bro code in loyalty, also, I don't want to think about that. Like, my friend was with you. You were in my house. Like, you were dating. Like, I'm not getting with the 100%. girl. 100%. Like, yeah. it's just weird all the way around. Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't make sense. That, that's why I don't, as much as I love Josh, his version of events, if everything, just the fact that they're being so blatant with it. And, and again, I'm staying off the Nessa train. She's young. She's whatever. These glasses <laughs> gone. But it's like, didn't she, like, I, someone sent me the uh, Charlie video. Where Charlie's like, would you ever trust Nessa? And it almost is like, we have it. It's almost like deja vu with the Chase play. It. Yeah, it's like. Would you forgive Nessa or like, would you be, still be friends with her? I think she did her own thing. That's not on me. I said what I had to say. I have my peace. I'm not gonna hold a grudge against anyone, but I just know what I need to do for myself, so. This was July when 6th time. the kiss came out. Yeah, yeah so it, uh, it, 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 dude, I feel so bad. So for this you, is bro. this is uh, so it's weird damn, that bro. that like could be now. Yeah. It's almost like how many times can the same shit happen before it's like, well, maybe the people involved. But you're right, it's young, it's real world, and it's reality. And you guys are in front of the camera. I think you're being too nice to fucking Jaden. That's my maybe Jaden and Nessa are perfect for each other because they, they could fuck be. everyone else over and they're. Can just be together. Yeah, I don't want to say that about them. That's <laughs> shitty. But I no, think maybe I think they'll be good for each other. I want them to be happy. That's what I'm gonna say. Wow, what a guy. Honestly, stand up. Guy. Way, way, better, way better than I would. Josh do High Road Richards. <laughs> it is. It's a nice that's, way to do it. That's a new nickname. Fuck. Yeah, it's never lose, never lose Josh. Josh is gone. Bro. I take too many hours apparently. <laughs> we're, we're switching it to Josh. Was there High any? Road uh, uh, by the way, element, and not that I don't think you have to have it, but like just being embarrassed at all. Um, I mean, that's what I, I can't, it's like, do I, like, when I talk about like, oh, you think I want this everywhere? Like, yeah, kind of, like, it's like, it's shitty, right? It's like, yeah. yeah. And what about, <laughs> uh, going through the sheet, Mads, you, my vibe on, and I heard her actually say on Call Her Daddy, she's like, I love Josh, I've known Josh for three years, he's like the best dude. I haven't gotten that vibe, like, she to me seems like so innocent, all this, and, and truthful. I don't think. I don't think yeah, anyone's innocent. I don't that's think what I mean. I was gonna say you, man. nobody's <laughs> fucking. What, what am I missing on her? I mean, I think it's just like. Uh, is she eighteen? She's eighteen, right? Yeah. Yeah. So she's it's an just eighteen like, year old girl. What do you expect? There's just I like mean. there's just a little bit of like she's just she knows it. She's just like immature at times, so she just does dumb shit, and it's like. Like, do you think if she didn't go public, this entire thing stays offline? Yeah. That's the problem. So it was like, maybe, yeah, like she was like in a moment where she like felt like mentally distraught or whatever. So she was like, I gotta get this out, like blah, blah, blah. But it's like, it just made the situation worse. So, like, in a weird way, if she doesn't go online, you guys can work, the, you, the other three of you can sort of work this uh, thing 100%. out at like your pace. Exactly. And then it's like a way pe more peaceful thing. And it's like, no one's fucking feeling like, I don't know. It's just like, you don't, you don't see the shit pop up on social media, so then you don't feel like people are like lying to you or you don't feel like you're getting back. It's like, we're all talking, we're figuring it out, and then we can move on. That's mm -hmm. a fair way to put it. I'm trying to think, I'm such a different guy. Like, Bree probably knows a little more, but you like, I, I'm just hard to like, I have such thick skin, and it's like, if somebody wrongs me, I want to burn every village, every bridge. And if I die, if I catch on fire and die, it's like, oh, well, it was worth it. They died too with me. So that's like how I look at the world. <laughs> so it's like Mads brought the truth out, but made it a lot harder. So like, I'd rather that even if it fucking killed me. How would you probably handle this? If it was you personally? I mean. Go to war. Would you? I, so I had a girl, go I had a girl who, who slept with her soul cycle instructor. She was like staying with me. This was nuts. I burned the whole village down. I mean, okay. I, Let's talk about someone else's. I, I, Let's I, talk about I, someone yeah, else's yeah. miseries for a bit. I, I did Switch a whole it on a fucking day. thing on it. I had like soul cycle 
which is a huge company, if they did a post that's like, hey, come get like a free ride, there'd be a thousand comments. Hey, do you get the fuck your instructor with that? <laughs> they literally had. Did and you I guys had, do like what? Cock cycle? Co cock cycle yeah, t-shirts. Shirts, I cycle. had moles within. It was crazy. I, so we're, we were big enough at the time. We had people who, like me, who worked at like corporate uh, uh, soul cycle. Yeah. Every oh email they sent went was forwarded to me. So I was like, re they couldn't figure out where the mole was from. We had you, them, like if someone from Barstool shows up, call 911. I mean, like if there was anyone on yeah. premises with like Barstool merch, yeah. Ow, yeah. Ow, ow. Yeah, we had them. I went bananas and I looked like a total jackass and people still bring it up to me they be like hey uh, i fucked your like fucking girlfriend like, but it's whatever now was it worth it though now i wish i didn't do it but it was worth it in the time See? like it's so far removed i don't give a fuck anymore <laughs> see what i'm saying like yeah but i'm exactly. not that mature even though i'm much older in real <laughs> in real time it's like everyone's going down um it was good i love it that's a good story yeah that's so a good story. but like down the road He's gonna look and be like, "All right, I'm glad I." You're gonna be very happy yeah. the way you you're gonna be it. glad I didn't be a lunatic like me. Um, I mean, here's the tweet from fucking Griffin. Nobody's loyal. Fuck everyone. I'm going to war for you till the day I die, Josh Richards. I like the dramatic. Let's yeah. continue to show all these people that we are here to change the world. All right, I think we get it. I think we get most of this. Mm. We can put this to Over. rest. <laughs> Thank God. You know, it's. I'm sucks. not gonna lie. I just want to state. I put out my. Bury the motherfucking body. Hey, I oh, put my true. tweets out in the moment, and then I, I was Stopped. done. I'm I was still done. Yeah. not rooting for these two clowns, but I'm not gonna. We'll we'll move past it. I am uh, not rooting for it. I hope. You, I hope everyone's fucking happy, dude. That's all you I handle it well. I think we get to the bottom of it. <laughs> you know, um, yeah, that's pretty much fucking everything on this. Am I forgetting anything that you think? No. Oh, there we is one few. other thing which I know you won't do, oh, which I email? meant to bring up. A girl yeah. sent me this email, and at first she was dead serious. At first, you're looking, it's not gonna be anything. I trust me, I'm getting a million DMs. I almost wanted to do a segment, read your DMs. I'm getting DMs, be like, slide Josh, my number, introduce me to Josh. <laughs> like, have you tried yourself? But this girl sent me this long thing, I, and at first I'm like, eh, whatever. And then I read it again, I'm like, I like it. You won't do it. It's like the ultimate revenge would be to make Josh like, a rock star bigger than Jaden. She wrote this whole thing. I'm like, what an idiot <laughs> to thing. turn you into And then a rock I star. thought oh about my. it more. She's like, think about it. He's like, he can do the dance, clearly with TikTok. You have this huge audience, bar stools behind it. And it's like, nowadays you can just auto tune singing. <laughs> oh it's my. like, make him this fucking pup idol. I actually think we could do it. I I'm literally am like, mission. was he on a mission? Now nah, I'm just like on a mission. But do it like this. in your garage, like, you know, like garage band, and you're just fucking around. We could do, yeah. I don't know if you can sing or not. We could <laughs> auto tune the fuck out of you. I'm the best fucking singer on this planet, bro. A lot of people want still soft dish too. That's true. Yeah, yeah a lot of it. people are waiting for that one. All right, guys, we're going to get serious for a second. This last year and a uh, couple months has been hard on a lot of people. So we're going to be doing something new and partnering with our new sponsor, BetterHelp, which is online therapy. Uh, this, po this podcast is sponsored by Better BetterHelp, and our listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash BFF. That's BetterHelp.com slash BFF. Guys, you can go customize online therapy. It offers you videos, phones, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to leave your camera on if you don't want to see anyone, and it keeps you feeling private. It's much more affordable than any in-person therapy sessions, and you guys can start communicating with your therapist in under 48 hours. All right, so. I like it. I did like the, uh, I'm looking, I think we, we got everything here. Yeah, there's some videos to react to. We got to watch the one of you on the boat and the one of Griffin. Okay. Wait. You want a boat. on a boat? It's, watch it. Yeah. Is this the same <laughs> Wait, boat video? Is no, it is not. The, how, we're never going to be allowed to play this in real, real. We can show it. Wait, but is it never the, is this the not what? good? Is, is no, this the one no. I'm thinking of? No, not what oh, you're thinking of. Oh, is it a different oh. boat? I okay. Oh, uh, no. Okay. <laughs> boat? I was like, wait, what? That's funny. No, it's what we were talking about earlier. The Nelk boat thing where it's not you and everyone's breathing. That is the video I'm talking about. Show the boat. <laughs> What's up, boys? Last weekend, I was on fucking Kyle's yacht, and it was fucking weird. Besides Kyle being 26, hitting on fucking barely 18-year-olds, I saw Dave Portnoy. He's fucking old. But shit, it was alright. It was a good fucking time. Shout out to Dave for the bar school fun, but shit, it was just weird. I will never 
There, so there's that boat video, and there's another video going viral of a guy getting like his dick sucked on a boat. <laughs> Neither of which are me. Gruen texted to me. I don't go on boats very often, and if I do, any dude who's in the video, you will know the name. Like it would be a you or like Gaz. I don't go Gaz, with yeah. random fucking people yeah. on boats. So that's not me. The, the guy getting his dick sucked, also not me. Was that the Nelk boat? Wait, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the Nelk boat. Yeah. I thought you were talking about the, the blow the job one, video. No, no. That's what that I was thinking. That's going around. I was I like, are we about to watch one. porn on the that's bar? What I, that's, <laughs> why, that's why I was like, there's no way we can show yeah, this. What are we about yeah, to no, show? I, no way that's I didn't allowed. see that one. <laughs> oh, who is the guy that I, the, the one other video we should put, who's the guy who talks shit about me that I sent to you? you know, like he's a big TikToker. Do talk you know, shit about you? Do you know who that is? He to deleted it. Yeah. Why? Pussy move. Yeah, huge pussy move. Yeah. He, he we'll, we'll show it. We'll show it. This is the last one on the, on the Nessa, Josh Jaden, but he commented on the video I made about it. But which, by the way, it was supposed to be like, all right, let's see. And what this can that? lead into the, what you buried my video because I would have been my third video, whatever, but that became non-issue. Dude, this is. Do you want to explain it before? Yeah, what is this video, Griff? Should we Dude. just like have more of a live reaction, you think, or? Yeah. Yeah, do a live reaction, yeah, yeah. And then I'll explain okay. it. Okay. I'll explain it. All right. It's so fucked up. These children um, are ill, terminally so. They're biggest fans, and it was their dying wishes to get to talk to you. Let's see. Guys, say hello to Griffin Johnson. You're not The Rock. No, this is Griffin Johnson. You said we're meeting Dwayne The Rock Johnson. No, I said Griff. No, you guys like TikTok, right? No. <laughs> so, you're not Dude. part of this. No, so this I was real. I was doing this was like a podcast interview style like thing, right? And I was just in the middle of an interview like just chilling, right? Mm -hmm. Just answering questions like super serious. And all of a sudden he's like, you know, I got something for you. Like I have some people, some fans that really want to meet you. I'm like, "All right, yeah, of course." Like, whatever. <laughs> so he starts zooming all these kids in. I'm like, "Hey everyone." Like and like they're like you know hooked up to like ventilators and like stuff. I'm like, oh sick. And he he explains that they're they're make a wish. That are, means, yeah. yeah. So it's a prank. Make a wish. Yeah. So then they he told them that they were gonna meet the Rock. So they had these letters that he, it actually didn't show up, but they had letters written out like about how Rock is like their idol. Like are they, they love actually them. sick kids? No, that no, that would be no, way no, too no, fucked if they. Fun, no. <laughs> you actually but had a real make a no, 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 I do. I'm like, I'm imagine, like, imagine their wish so was to bad. prank Griffin Johnson. They were like, we just want to fuck with this kid. I, that would have been legendary. Uh, that guy almost looked like the guy who did your video. The MILF thing? Is yeah, it the same guy? Same guy. The so that's what I was thinking. It is. Like, after I saw it is that. the same guy. Yeah. Yeah. No, right. but that's what, I, that's what I'm saying. saying. Yeah. Like, that's yeah, why yeah, I could tell it was a prank I just want to say, I would gladly take it. Yeah, they're all actors. Yes, we Totally. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we said that. It would be yeah, yeah, very fucked it. up. Yeah, we, we knew. We're not we crazy people. Yeah, we know. <laughs> Imagine telling the kid on a ventilator, they get in the rock, they get him, they kill themselves. Be like, <laughs> what are you going to say? No man? offense, it's wow. like my dying wish, and you get you instead of the rock, it's done. <laughs> yeah, that's a wrap. You went in there knowing he was a prank. Oh, you went in knowing he was a prank. No, I knew it was you funny. You were the same guy with the fake nose. I mean, it was obvious. No, but I thought the kids were legit at first until yeah. I realized like it Got was it. like... All right, well, we can't hear him anyway, so that conversation is not going to make any sense. Wow. <laughs> All right, let's play this video. This right. is the Tober. Have you guys heard of this guy? Toberitz? No. Kareem, you said he I had. didn't hear of him until... Sounds like a, like a German chocolate bar. Play this. I meant to DM him almost like live, like, yo, why'd you delete it? It's fucking some chick and a dog collar and a leash and spit in her face. Breaking news, everyone. Man compares girl that was born when he was 25 years old to someone getting fucked wearing a dog collar and a leash and getting spat on. Dave Portnoy, everyone, he's a great guy, super nice, and guess what? He loves pizza, and we love him for that. Barstool Sports, Saturdays are for the boys. Let's go, baby. So that guy posted that. I mean, it's and they kind of funny, deleted but like, it. kind of But yeah, but if it was like, if he, he could have kept it up and been like, yeah, this is a joke. Yeah. Oh, like I don't think he was joking. No, he, he truly hates me. I think he was oh. dead serious. That's oh, are you why, serious? That's why I deleted it. Yeah. The, see, if he would have not added the like the, the hateful part in the beginning, it would have been kind of funny. Right? I hey, also am not sure he, he got my, I'm not sure he got my joke. Like the reason I said the least shit 
Dude, was clearly because of events. That kid hates me too. He posted something one time and we went at it and then he ended up deleting it. Yeah, delete's a pussy move. I, what, yeah, what's his, keep it up. like, he, so didn't he, he, he always goes after people. He used like, to, yeah, he came at he me in a at video Bryce. one time. He, he went, went out, out like this, Sway House. That thing? I think that's like part of his thing. Cause at one point people used to be like, this kid he's doesn't so, miss. He, yeah. yeah, he doesn't miss. He calls everyone oh, out for their okay. shit. He's, he's sort of so trying awesome. too hard. And then like, problem. and then yeah. people got like tired of it. Or do you I think, think that was a myth? Do you think then people replied like, yo, like you either missed? A. Oh, they could have been like, bro, you missed. He I'm must have been getting caught. Because I don't think he, that, the video I made, the end, the least was clearly a joke because of the video I had going out. I don't think he knew that video existed. So he's like, I, I just so. randomly made that. He comparison. probably just thought you were like bragging about putting a chick on a leash. Or no, I don't think like he even that. knew that existed. Yeah. I think he was just like. He thought there was no like. No correlation yeah. mm -hmm. is my guess. Like I just made that up out of thin air, whatever. And then everyone was I met to, like, the DM on live and the show be like, yo, why'd you delete that? I don't have my phone though. Um, all right, moving past that. So what else do we have? Do we have another video? Bree saying Bree her trying jewel to hit the, the jewel time? while filming? No, it's the video isn't even the good clip of it. It went viral on TikTok of me, like, I went to fix my hair and everyone thought I was going to hit my jewel, but there was nothing in my hand and I, like, slipped up and tried uh. to catch it. <laughs> everyone was shitting on me I like on the one where hard. you're, like, uh, you quit drooling and you, like, pretend to drop it in the water. Yeah, and did you think that right was real? It? No. Everyone, that was you good. Commented on it. That yeah, was but good. I was, like, commenting as a yeah, joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I didn't think it was real. I, <laughs> I was like, nobody idiot. thinks it's real, but then everyone was Alex, Wait, what? I said something like, some like sarcastic um, comment, right? Like, congratulations. This is something. like true strength or something. Yeah, this yeah. is true strength. What, yeah. Are there any other clips we need to see, Kareem? I don't know how clips are never in order or what we got here. I think right? we got them all. I don't care. Do you guys care about the Bryce Stromney of a Spartan? <laughs> I didn't give a fuck. I about think, that. like, we already <laughs> talked about it. I love him. Yeah. He yeah. was like, me. I just noticed it was named Famous Celeb Spotted on a Yacht, <laughs> referring to you. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why I thought it was going to be the blowjob video. <laughs> what is the... You're just going Ooh, over. What are we please. doing now? <laughs> I'm yeah, stalking your TikTok. It makes me uncomfortable. No. All right, so that, that's... Do we have questions? Do we have anything like that? Yeah. Yes. All right, okay. let's hit the questions. So let's do questions. Okay, and these are the ones from the subreddit that we found. They're like crazy ones. So... I just found out my fiance, who I have dated for five years, hooked up with my older sister when they were in high school. He also had a girlfriend in high school when this happened, so he cheated on that girl with my sister. My sister was also pregnant with another guy's baby during the time period. My sister and him have both told me it was a long time ago, and they have put it behind them, but I can't get the image out of my head. Is this me being I'm insecure? <laughs> and should I get over it, or is this just a guy problem? I, I was, First off, I can't follow it. That was like so windy. We're dealing with Josh. He was in the middle of something. This guy's talking about something <laughs> that happened like 10 years. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> yeah, bro. I feel like if it's like five years ago, you got it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that was stupid. I don't I don't believe this story. It's just like too fucking yes, crazy. They're agreed. crazy stories, yeah. yeah. But would you, if you knew your brother fucked your girlfriend, could you still be with your girlfriend? Fuck no. So that's your answer to if, this. If it's my wife down the road and they did in high school, then well, yeah. yeah, it is. Like, what are you gonna do? Yeah, yeah it's, like, it's kind of in like, high school. Then, uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't go into it. I wouldn't be like knowingly. That's a. No, but you if find you know out the information pre, it's a. It's different. But if you correct. find out and it's seven Way years later, it's fact. kind of like Doesn't you're mad. Matter. But what are you gonna do? Yeah, you're mad, but you gotta get over it. Yeah. Okay, so get over it. All right, second one. First romantic weekend away with my new boyfriend and he sent me a spreadsheet breaking down cost of everything and exactly how much I owe him. We both make decent incomes and I'd happily transfer him the money or book some things myself to even it out. Am uh, I feeling turned off by this? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, these questions That's are fucked like up. totally seemingly fake. Yeah. You got to get out of this. This is a joke. Yeah. yeah I, was I would say who the fuck. I I've never heard of anyone doing that. A yeah. That spreadsheet can't even of the cost. Be, because we may have to lose this Reddit section. These are like fake questions. You think so? Yes. Some people are crazy though. Like there's a whole Reddit of like crazy. Stuff. Yeah, but it's Reddit. I know it's, it's like, true. It's like people could just be making up stories. Yeah. Cause that like, right. what are you dating? Like, is... you're really you looking video for relationship for advice yeah. on Reddit. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that was the last one. All right. Gosh. Yeah. I mean, if that's real, get the hell out of that relationship. Like, it's like you're fucking dating a, your financial manager or something. <laughs> yeah, you're dating your like, stockbroker. Gosh, bro. <laughs> yeah, just get a I business just... manager for your marriage. Have them get tallied up. So, I think that's pretty much everything then, right? Yeah, covered everything in 
final feelings. It's over. We don't need to talk about it anymore. The BFS, by the way, by the time you air this, it's too late. We did our second drop last night, 8 p.m. You got to follow all of us to find out when we're doing it, but it sold out in about an hour. Um, so if you guys ever want merch, you got to get gone? on that shit. Yeah, gone. Like, fast, you have to get on it instantly. Get we may be able to get some, some special people. I can't buy them anymore. That's no, fine. Buy them. Maybe we, we should actually, as guests, like give them away in the future. Yeah. We should have idea. like a little like stock of yeah, like, merch yeah, for people yeah, when they come when by. Come on. Yeah. yeah. So now you are in Miami through, oh, I guess we can ask this because I already know. Like how, you're saying you're off, you're off social media, everything, but are you in your DMs? Like girls are in my ass being like, send my number. They're in my DMs about you. It's crazy. That's a good feeling. There um, has to be, a, yeah. there has to have been a wild pickup based on the pickup I'm getting it from it. So like, yeah, of course, like my phone started like dinging a bunch or whatever, but like I just haven't had the like urge to like text a girl. It's just like, it's just a depressing Be fucking thing, weird. honestly, bro. It's just like. Yeah. It's and then like you know they'll post it on TikTok. That's the other thing. It's like yeah. right now I don't want to be like texting someone and then they're like, oh, look at this. Look what I found to Josh. Well, I'm like trying to like maybe like, I don't know, text a girl sexually, cope with something or whatever. You know what I mean? Like forget. And then it's like, oh, she posted over. It's like, that fucking See, sucks. that's again the difference between you and I. I'm just <laughs> everywhere. It's like, once you let it out of the cage, it's like whatever. Post wherever the fuck yeah, you want. Yeah, but you have to have that mentality going into well, it. Yeah. You just get fucked. He doesn't yeah. have that. Yeah, I'm, I didn't want to go into that situation or this situation with that mentality. No. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. All right. So that's BFFs. That's a wrap. And hopefully the last time we have to talk about it. Although, selfishly, like, if you want to keep these controversies going... Helps. The views oh, are like, <laughs> the views are through, the roof, through the roof. I'll, I'll think of a new controversy. Hey, I'll take a I'll bullet for you, dude. I'll find something. Else. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll find something else to talk about. All right. It's BFFs.